I'm working on converting the mini blinds in our Airstream into Roman shades while we're here. I'm not gonna have time to do a full-on tutorial, but I'll try and sort of kind of talk you through the steps. We decided to use this uh, blackout drapery material that we found in this cool teal color. So I just measured um, from the top of the bar to the bottom of where these need to come to. Got the measurements for that and for the width and then just added whatever I needed for seam allowance. I ended up uh, adding an inch for the top, an inch for the bottom, and three quarter inch seam allowance on each side. Press and hem all those. I did sides first, then I did the top, and I put Velcro, the soft side of Velcro, on the top hem as I stitched it down because I wanted as few seams as possible. So instead of having, you know, sewing the Velcro on later and having two seams at the top, I've just got the one. Now a lot of people will just kind of get in there with a the mini blind and start hacking away. I'm a little fussy and I don't just like cutting things that I could possibly regret cutting later or cut the wrong thing. So I'm gonna show you how I disassemble them and just completely remove any of the hardware that I'm not gonna need so it's not kicking around. So first thing, I'm gonna get rid of the little wand. So on the bottom bar of these mini blinds, there's a little plug on either end. I'm gonna pull that out with a pair of pliers and slide this down. There's a knot, you could cut that off. I usually untie it just because I'm paranoid about cutting things. I'm just gonna pull that string that I've just unattached from the top, pull it through. Just kinda get that out of the way and I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now in the top part of the mini blind where all the hardware is, there's this metal rod. I'm gonna push that and get that out of all of these different things that it's running through. Now I'll set this aside for later because I'm gonna slip this into the bottom hem of all of my Roman blinds just to give it a little bit of weight and keep that nice and straight. Now there's these little clear plastic doodads and these are holding the strings that tilt the blinds. And I'll just unhook those. Can throw that away. Now this whole bottom part, we'll just get rid of. On either side of this little thing that holds the wand that tilts the blinds, You'll see there's a little pin. There's one on each side, so I just find something pointy, like you know, the end of a pencil or something like that. Just push those in on either side, and then this will slide right out. The next step for me is getting the dowels spaced out, deciding where they're gonna go, how far I'm gonna put them. It's different on each set of blinds because I'm working with several different size windows. At first I thought I would sew casings to slide the dowels into, but I decided that I wanted to have as few seams showing from the outside as possible, which made me decide to go with gluing and a little bit of hand tacking instead. The glue I've used is called Gem Tack. I learned about this in a Sailrite tutorial for Roman Shades. I really like Sailrite. They do some fantastic tutorials for all kinds of interior projects and uh, I highly recommend it. I used their tutorial for the wheel covers that I made for the Airstream as well and I've really loved those. Now that the glue has dried, I'm also going to tack these dowels onto the shades just for a little bit of extra security. And I gave myself a nice little bit of seam allowance. So that's actually what I'm attaching the, the tacking to. Um, and I just make sure on this side that it doesn't come through. You could totally sew through both layers, but like I said, I want as few seams on the outside as possible, so I'm doing what I can to minimize that. So instead of sewing these all the way through the fabric, the little metal rings, I'm just gonna tie them around the dowel and then I'll secure the, the threads with a little bit of glue once I get these all uh, tied on here. All right, I'm ready to put this all together. I've got the soft side of the Velcro on the Roman shade itself, and then I've used adhesive uh, hook side of the Velcro on the mini blind um, mounting bar. So I'm gonna plop that on. Now I just gotta run the strings through the loops on either side and tie a knot on the bottom of the last one. All right, that's all done. I can just install that in the Airstream.
The new Roman shades are installed now. You can see I just reused those brackets. Uh, a few of them broke in the process, but they're pretty old and brittle and this trailer was in Arizona before we bought it. So, you know, you kind of expect some of that. So I got to order a few new brackets for some of these, but they turned out really well. We haven't attached them at the bottom yet. You can see the curve of the trailer makes it so they hang out quite a ways. But what we decided we're going to do is magnets. We've tried a few things and they seem to work really well. So uh, I'm not going to worry about that too much right now, but that's eventually what's going to happen is we'll attach those to the wall with magnets. And these, it's going to take them a little while to get used to rolling up nicely. Um, that'll just take time. They'll kind of get used to uh, where they're supposed to crease, but yeah, I'm really happy with them. Those mini blinds were always getting hooked on our clothes when we'd walk around the bed and being bent and wonky and coming out of the little cheap plastic brackets that were supposed to hold them in. Okay, one more thing. So you know how I told you guys that we were going to attach these with magnets? Well, I'm going to show you how we did it. So in the bottom of the Roman shades, there is that metal bar that I saved when I took apart the mini blinds. So I saved that. It's steel, so it'll stick to magnets. And I've attached a magnet using VHB tape right there. And so it just sucks itself in when it's down, like this. Now we still have to take these plastic brackets off. Um, we might, we've talked that we might stick rivets in the holes or something like that. Um, just so we don't have a bunch of little holes. But we can handle that, we'll do something with that, but I just wanted to show you how we attach those to the wall.